Hi everyone, it's Heidi Scott with DIY Dreaming. Hope that you are having a wonderful day. On this video tutorial, I'm gonna show you how to make two things with this awesome stencil, which I just got. I love it. Um, we're gonna stencil on jeans. Well, I've already done it, so I'm gonna show you how I stenciled on jeans and on my jean jacket. And then we're gonna stencil a round tray that I have all ready to go, and I'm gonna show you how you can um, add handles, you could put a Lazy Susan on the bottom. Um, so, lots of good stuff today. As you're hopping on, say hi, let me know where you're watching from, let me know if you have questions. Um, the products that I'm using today are exclusively Magnolia Design Company, um, plus the wood was from Home Depot. Uh, so, um, if you're interested in anything that you see here today, this stencil or the chalk paste or the ink that I'll be that I used on the clothes, um, you can look that up at magnoliadiy.com. That's my website magnoliadiy.com. I picked that because I thought it would be easy for everyone to remember since the name of my website is DIY Dreaming. So it's magnoliadiy.com. Okay, so this um, is called Mandala Lace. Um, it's a whole series of circles focused around this one. And um, I looked up a little bit about these. They... Um, they came from other parts of the world and they are a little associated with like meditation and sort of new agey stuff. But I'm claiming that God, uh, you know, maker of heaven and earth, he makes, he made the sky, he made, makes everything that's beautiful, he makes art, um, that he made the circle and that this is a piece of, um, Art. So I don't know how you feel about that, but that's what I'm thinking because I don't like the idea of all the new age stuff. So, um, so we're going to be using this and, um, or I actually did use this. Oh my gosh. So I've been seeing everywhere these painted jeans and painted jean jackets. And this morning I made some, let me show you my jean jacket first. It's so cute. If the, if the comments are bothering you guys, you can swipe them to the side so you can see. What do you think? I just used white ink. That stencil, I'll get a little closer. And it turned, it was easy. It turned out so cute. This is just the back of my jean jacket. I mean, of course you could do something on the front if you wanted, um, but I just decided to do the very back of it. And I think it turned out darling. Give me some hearts if you like this. Hey, Cynthia. Hi, Lisa. Hey, Doris. Hi, Teresa. Hey, Janice. Hi, Don. Hi, Karen. Hi, Renee. Oh my gosh, there's lots of you guys on. Anyways, if you like this um, and you think this is something that you would ever want to try, give me some hearts. Yay, look at that. Okay, so I also decided to stencil on these jeans. They're... Um, they're boyfriend jeans, so they're slouchy and kind of um, distressed. And can you see, I put this stencil just up to the seam right here. So it's, right, it's all right here. And I did want to show you one tip. Um, when I was going over the seam, I didn't want to accidentally get any of my ink onto the other side of the pants, so I just taped it off where I wanted it to start, stop basically. And then I laid the stencil over the top and I just stenciled the front, but you could do the whole thing. You could do the bottom of your legs. I mean, you could put uh, little pieces like the center part on a pocket. There are so many things that you could do. I'm thinking it would look super cute on a pillow. It would look awesome on just a canvas bag. Um, there's a zillion things that you could use this for. So, but in addition to using this, and this is what I used, Magnolia Design Company Permanent Ink in white. And I just um, took my spreader and 
my little squidgy thing and dipped it out and pushed it through the holes on the stencil. And then I took it into the kitchen. I do want to tell you something important. Um, I took it into the kitchen and I cleaned it. So when you're going to use um, a stencil like this on denim, it does pick up a lot of the denim uh, fibers when, when you're stenciling. So look at my um, magic sponge. This is the uh, Magnolia Design Company stencil cleaner. And you can see, this is after I cleaned it off. So if you're going to do a stencil on denim, then you definitely are gonna wanna like clean the underneath of it, the sticky part, and pull off all of the little denim stuff that's on there. It doesn't hurt it. Um, I just did that and laid it out on my counter to dry and we're ready to use it again. So, um, but what I wanted also to tell you guys, sorry, I'm just scrambling here. I also wanted to tell you guys that there's some other stencils that Magnolia Design Company has that would be really cute for jeans or jean jackets or t-shirts. Um, my t-shirt right here has a little pocket and there's all these cute little um, things. This is called Summer Minis and I especially love this one. I would do that in navy blue. Um, I mean, there's there's just tons of cute things on here. You could also do these on a jean pocket or maybe on shorts if you're wearing jean shorts. And um, you guys know how much I love anchors. Uh, we did that project, I don't know where it is, that says Jesus is the anchor of my soul. Anyways, I got the big anchor and this would be super cute on a pair of jeans or on the back of a jean jacket. And you could do it in white, if it was a lighter color denim, you could do it in a dark color, a navy blue or a black or red, whatever um, appeals to you. So this would be cute. And then I just pulled this out because I think this would be darling. This is um, Fresh Flowers Farmer's Market. I wouldn't put the words on there. I would just do the little trek with all the flowers in the back. And that would be cute on the bottom of the cuff or you know on your upper thigh or on the back or front of a jean jacket so okay the name of the company is magnolia design company they're new newish anyways they've been around for less than a year and i decided um i don't know a month ago or maybe not quite even that to add this to everything else that i was doing because um, they had some beautiful faith stencils and I wanted to be able to give you guys more selection. So that is what this is all about. And my website, if you want to go look, they have a beautiful catalog. It's magnoliadiy.com. So magnoliadiy.com. Um, anyways, okay, so this stencil, in case you're wondering, it's 15 by 15. So it's a big stencil and you can use any part of it. But for our next project, we are going to use the whole thing. Okay, so let me put the camera down. This, oh, you know what, I forgot to grab the unfinished one. Let me just show you. Okay, this tray that we're making, that's gonna have that lace on it, started its life like this. It came from Home Depot. Um, it's an unfinished wood round. It's probably, I don't know, 18 by 18 or 16 by 16. And it was like $6.45. So it's a really good deal. And what I did to get ready for this project is, first thing, I sanded it really good with some super fine sandpaper because although they look good, they tend to have a lot of... Um, just little fuzz, little wood fuzz. So I sanded it till it was really nice and smooth and then I just put one coat of a stain. You could do a gray stain, uh, I mean a brown stain. Uh, you could leave it plain, it's totally up to you. But I'm loving this look. Uh, uh, it's gonna be this brown color with the white Mandela lace on the center. And when I'm all finished and it's dry, I'm gonna just apply a clear coat of sealer, of spray, and I'll be able to, you know, actually use it. So 
this is what I did. Then after I stained it, I sanded it one more time and I removed all of the, the dust. Okay, so um, I did both sides too. This one I did a little bit darker and this one's a little bit lighter. We're gonna stencil on this side. Okay, now if you do want to turn it into like a Lazy Susan, let me show you what you would need for that. You can buy all this stuff at the hardware store. They have the mechanism there. At Home Depot and Lowe's, they both carry this. It's called Everbuilt Ball Bearing Lazy Susan Turntable. And it's about, it's under $5. So I will take pictures of this because I know I'll get a ton of questions about it. And I'll put it in the comments when I'm all finished. Oh, and by the way, um, tell me where you're watching from. Feel free to sprinkle if you would like to. Um, let me know in the comments if you have questions or if you want links. Okay, so that you could do that or you could put handles on it. And um, this set right here, let's see, it's a pretty silver and it's got some, some sort of detail on the edge. This came also from Home Depot and you guys, these are like a dollar and 50 cents a piece. If you go um, to like a home decor shop looking for handles, you're gonna pay $10 or more a piece. So these look so pretty. I've made a ton of different trays using this one and you can also get the same thing in black. And they're by this company called Allen and Roth and they come with the screws. And this wood is pretty um, soft so you just need to either drill or I usually just use a hammer to poke a hole <laughs> and then I screw it in with the screwdriver. Um, so that this is a, would be good. Now, if you're not going to make, where is it? If you're not going to make a Lazy Susan, then I definitely recommend these. They're just those little felt bottoms that you can stick on the bottom of your tray so that it can slide around and you're not going to scratch your tray or your table. Okay. So let's actually do it. Um, I need to decide, let's see, can you guys see? I think you can. Okay, I need to decide, um, you know, it's a repeating pattern, so I don't think it even matters how I put it on. I'm gonna take it out of the little clear package that it comes on, and I'm going to get a tea towel. This is just one of those flower sack tea towels um, that I've stenciled already and that my husband probably has cleaned the coffee pot with if you know what I'm talking about. I'm going to take the stencil off of the back and I've used this twice already. I used it on the jean jacket and I used it on my jeans and it is, I mean these are things are sticky and they clean up really nice, okay? So it needs to be fuzzed and um, Let's take that long string out of there. So I'm just going to lay it on my tea towel and press it down. And then I will pull it up and I'll do it one more time. Oh gosh, there's stuff on this tea towel. <laughs> Strings. I should have. Uh... Okay, so we'll do it one more time. So what do you guys think so far? Do you love the idea of doing jeans or jackets or t-shirt uh, pockets? You could do things on the back of the um, t-shirt. Oh my gosh, there's so many awesome stencils um, and great colors of ink at Magnolia Design Company that you could do a lot of great things with. Okay, so now comes the hard part for me, which is eyeballing it. And I am... I'm gonna cheat just a little bit and use my ruler just to see. It's like one and a fourth. And that's one and a fourth. And that's a little bit more than one and a fourth. It's good. We're good. So now we're just gonna press it down really good. We wanna make sure there's no air bubbles in it. Can you guys see? Um, 
and we're going to be using chalk paste which is also from Magnolia Design Company. It comes in these big tubs. It's really nice and creamy. It's easy to work with. Um, in case you're wondering why does my stencil look so cruddy, it's because when I did my denim jacket, I was moving kind of slow because I wasn't sure how it was going to turn out. So sometimes you'll get a little stain on the top of your stencil, but as long as you clean it out and it's not clogging up the holes, um, it doesn't matter how ugly it gets. They still work. And this one is still super sticky, so it's still perfectly good. Okay, so I have my little tub of water all ready to go. And um, this is what I will clean it with. This is that stencil cleaner. It's like $2.50 or something like that. And the, this is what I'll be applying my chalk with. It's called a squeegee and it's a couple of dollars. And these are great. I always, well I've ordered three times, but every time I order a few more. And then what you can do is if you want, you can cut them into smaller pieces or you can use them whole. It's just completely up to you. We're gonna use it whole and um, use some of the um, little ones. Okay, so now we just wanna move relatively fast. Let's see. Oh, somebody just said they caught me live. Can you use regular paint with the stencil? You can, but you know what? It's gonna be thinner. Paint is always thinner, and so, um, you're, you need a, a, a foam brush like this or a little pouncer to apply it. And you wanna apply a very thin amount of it and then you need to move fast because paint dries quickly and you don't want it to dry in the holes of your stencil. Honestly, I really recommend that you use um, chalk paste or ink, but it's up to you. Don't use paint if you're going to do it on clothes because it won't be permanent. That, oh, that reminds me. To make the ink permanent on my jean jacket and my jeans, um, I just will, well, I've already done it. Um, I'll just put my iron on linen or cotton and I put a tea towel in between my iron and the jeans and I just went over, 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 over it for, I don't know, four minutes or something. Um, then you can turn it inside out if you want and do the other side and you're good to go and it, it's not coming off. So, okay, quit yakking and start. What is the name of the company? It's called Magnolia Design Company. Um, you can order by going to magnoliadiy.com and I will put that in the blurb describing this video and I'll also um, answer everybody who asked. Okay, so I'm just going to, you know what, I think I'm going to, do I want to cut this smaller? No, I'm not going to. Okay, so I'm just going to dip my little squeegee in my pot, and we'll start over here, and I'm going to just push it through the holes of my stencil and take the excess off. It's super easy, so if you're, if you're worried that you're, you won't be able to do this. You don't have any reason to worry. It's easy. But I will tell you a couple common mistakes. Um, one is people don't have their stencil pressed down all the way or there's bubbles in it. And what will happen is it'll look a little um, smudgy. Um, another common mistake is that um, what they're stenciling on is not flat. Or it's, maybe it would be like a piece of wood like this, and it has a bunch of little fuzz on it. And so um, the, the ink or chalk paste is getting absorbed into it at different, uh, different amounts. And so it can look like those lines that you get around your mouth <laughs> when you get older and you, your lipstick sort of bleeds up into it. So those are a couple things. And then also the other common mistake I see and hear about is people who put their medium on and then they keep going over it and over it and over it. And when you do that, you're likely to push whatever the medium is underneath the stencil because it's already full. So try not to make 25 passes 
over your stencil. Just get it, get it done, look for areas that you missed, and then pull it up. Also, oh, here's another one. I didn't know I was gonna give you a stencil lesson today, but here's another one. If you put your um, medium on your stencil and push it through all the holes, and then you leave it uh, long enough that it can dry, when you pull it up, your stencil's gonna be wrecked. And it's gonna pull up a lot of the medium, whatever it was that you were using. So you really, as soon as you're done covering every area, you just wanna get this puppy up and get it into water. Okay, I am all chalky. Let me hold this up for you guys so you can see. And I'm gonna hope it looks good. Ooh, it looks really good. Oh my gosh. Wow, this is gonna be beautiful. I will um, seal it with a spray sealer and um, I may put two coats of it on it and I'll probably do the handles. I don't know if I'll do it as a Lazy Susan or not. I think I would like it more as a tray. So I may actually put some little feet on it. I don't know for sure but it is beautiful. Okay, let me make sure that all the little areas of my stencil are tucked down under the water so they can wait for me to be finished so I can go wash it off. So let me show you. Tell me if you guys like this. I think it's beautiful. Oh my goodness. You could do the same stencil over a painted piece on a tray this could be a piece of art sitting on your um, mantle. Do you guys like it? Look how neat and just fine all the details are on that. I think it's beautiful. I think it would look awesome with some handles. Where did I put those? Just with some handles on it. Can you guys see? And some little, I might stain some little ball feet to put on the bottom of it. I love it. Love it, love it, love it. So, just to recap, we used chalk paste on this. And we used, it's called permanent ink. We used that on my jeans and my jean jacket. And I heat set it. And now it's permanent. I can wash and everything. Um, you can also use this stuff on um, ceramics and glass, and you just heat set it in the oven. It's really amazing. Same product for fabric and for ceramics. So, and this is the Mandela Lace stencil. Oh my gosh, I'm totally in love. I can't wait to get it finished. I'll probably let it dry a good couple of hours before I get a spray and cover it, so. Anyways, I hope that you guys liked this project. If, um, if you like crafts and stuff like this and you're always wanting to see more, you should hop over to the other page that I have. It's called Dreamy DIY, Dreamy Space DIY. Ask to join and I'll approve you. And um, there's like, I don't know, 4,000 um, members there already and they're the craftiest most creative people and they're sharing tons of pictures of different crafts that they're doing some of them are like their interpretation of the crafts that we've done here and a lot of them are brand new ideas so um, it's an awesome place At, hop over there if you haven't done it already and ask to join and um, if you want to look at any of the products at Magnolia Design Company just go through my website it's magnoliadiy.com. And um, let me know if you have questions. Thanks for watching. And I will take pictures of everything and put those in the comments. I appreciate you guys being here with me today. Uh, I may see you later. I'm not sure if I can get my act completely. Oh, I did want to give you a quick little preview. We are going to, most likely tomorrow, we're going to use my Icon Art Custom Stencil Maker to make a stencil that looks like this. And you guys, I realize it's backwards, but Facebook is still having that issue where if I flip it, everything is green. 
So, and it's, it's system wide. So we're backwards, I'm sorry. It says whale come. And I'm gonna make a stencil and then make some projects with this because I'm totally loving the navy blue and the whale idea. Anyways, okay. Have a wonderful day and I will see you soon. Bye.